Welcome to Trading with Dummy. I am Mark. You're watching an educational entertainment channel focused on the stock market. Yes, everyone's favorite place to go to lose money and make money. And at the same time, if you came into the market in 2020, it was euphoric. You loved it. <music> Twenty twenty one, not so much. And twenty twenty two, whoo, it's kind of rough right now. No! No! So if you're brand new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video at the end if you enjoyed this content, and of course share this with other people that you think may enjoy my content. Today I'm starting a brand new segment called Tick of the Week which every single week I will sit down and I will drop a video where I focus on a specific stock ticker and then I will break it down, give you a little bit of information about it and then it's up to you if you wanna invest into it or not. But also if you're brand new, just real quick, this is a disclaimer. My channel is called Trading with a Dummy for a reason. I am not, and I repeat, I am not a financial advisor. So without further ado, let's get into this episode. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay so I got my index cards here just like a reporter, you know, old school, trying to act like I'm very professional here or like I'm a newscast. What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am Mark. You're watching Trading with a Dummy. Today's latest news is we're going to focus on two things that I always get questions about. VOO and VTI. Which one is better? So yes, I get that question quite a bit. Which one is better? So usually on this segment, I'm just gonna cover one ticker, but today I'm gonna cover two tickers because they're very similar. And I wanna break them down for you guys real quick because like I said, I get this question quite a bit. This is the worst. <laughs> So first of all, let's talk about similarities. They're very similar. VOO and VTI have similar expense ratios. They are 0.03%. Their AUM is very close to each other and their top 10 holdings are extremely similar. When I say extremely similar, I mean they're exactly the same. Their weight is slightly different, but very comparable. They are also both by Vanguard. Everybody likes Vanguard, everyone loves Vanguard. They have a bunch of different funds, so make sure you go into ETF.com and check out all the different Vanguard funds. That being said, let's get into the difference of these two ETFs. So one of the major difference is the average daily volume that's being traded with these. VTI is at 955 million versus VOO, which is 2.68 billion. So it's more than double what VTI has. Let's break down two other stocks real quick that people love. SPY, that's everyone's favorite when you're in the trading game. The SPY, <clears throat> Let me make sure I get this right. Spy's average daily volume is 34 billion. That's a lot. Oh my God. And then XLK, which is everyone's leap option favorite, that one's at 2 billion. So now you have a comparison of how these two actually average when it comes to the average daily volume traded. What else is different? VOO covers the S&P 500. That's it, the 500 top stocks. That is it, that's all that VOO covers. Whereas VTI covers the crisp US total market index, which includes the S&P 500, as well as mid and small cap stocks. So you get around 40 hundred stocks within that fund. And now the make it or break it for you will be the price tag associated with it. As of today, today's Saturday, I'm shooting this on Saturday, January 22nd. I'm releasing on January 23rd. So the price should still remain similar since it's the weekend and the markets are closed. VTI is currently going for $220 and VOO is going for $402, almost double. So the big question is which one should you invest into and should you invest into both of them or just one of them? Well, let's jump into my computer real quick and. It's Let's go look at the charts because I can tell you this, you're gonna be pretty surprised. So I'm here on my computer, I'm pulling up Yahoo Finance. The good thing about Yahoo Finance is that you can compare two different stocks on a chart and you can compare them and see which one actually performs better. And as you can see, the VTI is in blue where VOO is in red and they are moving almost hand in hand very similar. Even when you zoom all the way in, you can see that they are basically moving the exact same. There is no major difference in the return that you get. You might be off a point or two, but other than that, they're very similar. So again, which one should you invest into? Well, it just really depends what you're looking for. Obviously, VTI is extremely 
extremely more affordable than BOO because again, $402, uh, it can be expensive if you, want, if you want to invest into it every single month. That being said though, I'm going to be very transparent with you guys. I invest into both of them. I have for the past two years and you're probably wondering why? Why were you investing in both of them if they're basically the same? Well, it's because a financial guru told me to do so. I was part of Red Panda and he told me to invest into VTI and VOO every single month. So I invest into VTI and VOO every single month and my returns were about 22 to 23% every single year. They were comparable. But did I really need to invest into both of them? Personally, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't think so. I think it's up to your budget and your appetite for volatility. Because realistically, again, I mean, VTI is $220 versus VOO, which is $402. There's a major price difference. So if your pocket can't afford the VOO, just go with the VTI because you get about two shares for almost the same price as you get VOO, just one share. Not only that, VOO is only exposed to the S&P 500, where VTI also includes small caps and mid caps. So that means that that one is a little bit more volatile. However, that being said, you actually may have a higher return with VTI since the mid and small caps are included in there. And sometimes people like to invest into those because there's more growth opportunity there. So it's really up to you what you want to do. Personally, I stopped investing into VOO as of this month and I'm only focusing on VTI moving forward. Forward. I'm young. I have many years ago. I'm okay with having a little bit of volatility in my portfolio. And that additional $400, I could either buy another share of VTI or I could buy Apple or something else that I'm interested in. So that was pretty much it, y'all. It's really up to you. You can buy both of them or you could just buy one or the other. It's really up to what your appetite is, what you want to do moving forward. But honestly, my personal opinion, I don't think you need to buy both of them. Just choose one or the other and stick with it and buy every single month. Take a portion of your paycheck and just invest it in there and leave it. And trust me, you'll be happy at the end of the year. But once again, I'm not a financial advisor. So that was it, guys. My name is Mark. You were watching Trading with a Dummy. And I'll see you guys next week in Tick of the Week. Peace out.